Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome biggity, biggity, biggity back, y'all. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name, I almost forgot my name. And if you do not know, I am Kelsey. I am a content creator here on YouTube, and I also make content on TikTok and Instagram. Um, I come on here to talk about my experience with VSG, the life thereafter, and how I am surviving. It's my hope that through my videos now and in the past, help you to make the decision to choose surgical weight loss that much easier. I don't think I've ever struggled through my intro like that before, but we're going to roll with the punches. We're we going to roll. We're going to roll on. Everybody get your roll on. Roll on. <laughs> Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, first off, let me apologize for this oh, no. ring My ring light is working. I got this ring light like four years ago and it is definitely time for another one. She on her last leg. Um, I even have a little uh like a little um what is this? Uh uh whatever this is called. selfie stick and it's broken too so we just we we firing on all cylinders today so we're gonna go ahead and get this video out of the way <laughs> this has been a highly requested video of me to do um and this is just on my experience with Munjaro. um i want to do a little bit of housekeeping before i get into this this is strictly my experience i am not a medical professional i am not encouraging you to go out and do these things or get on these medications or request these medications i am specifically giving you guys my experience as a weight loss surgery patient and my struggles with losing weight thereafter um second housekeeping i um thing in my first video i called moonjaro a semaglutide moonjaro is not a semaglutide it is a trizepatide trizepatide Okay, two very different things, and I was so uneducated on it. Um, it was new to me at that point. There were several people who, you know, very kindly said, Hey, you know, it's actually a, tri a <laughs> tricepatops, tris, tris, tyrannosaurus. It's definitely a trizepatide, it is not a semaglutide. Um, but there were some people that were really nasty about it. Y'all, you have to understand, I am not a medical professional. I come on here to share my experiences, so I'm going to get some things wrong. But I did want to just clarify that um, it is not a semaglutide. Okay. Um, I and, and once again, I am not a medical professional. I am just sharing my experience with this injectable medication and what it has, the benefits and the the overall experience so far that it has had for me. So um, I guess I'll just go ahead and dive right in. Um, let's talk about how I got here. Um, I had VSG surgery in February of 2021, February 5th of 2021. And I'll, if I can find a good picture that I haven't like, you know, destroyed and that's not true but I have them um I was 233 point something pounds so basically 233 200 I'm sorry 333 pounds almost 340 pounds pretty much and I was absolutely miserable I was miserable 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 walking was miserable I was hurting and after a horrible experience in Disney World where I did the walk of shame because I couldn't fit on a ride. I told myself, this is it. I am going to have weight loss surgery. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to have it. So um, that happened in October of 2020. And by February of 2021, I did have the surgery. I had the VSG or the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Um, it was done by Ravendra Malaper here in Huntsville, Alabama with the Mad Madison Surgical Associates. At the top of my weight loss, I lost 100 and I want to say about 115 pounds. That would put me at 215. So, and that was fantastic. But it's kind of like at that point, it stopped and I couldn't lose any more weight. So, um, my doctor prescribed me fentramine and, you know, I, I dr dropped a few pounds. I dropped a good bit of weight on that and it came right back. It just wasn't something that was sustainable over time. 
I also have PCOS, if you are not aware of what that is, it is polycystic ovarian syndrome, which causes weight gain, insulin resistance, infertility, and other, it makes it really difficult for women and other people, or women, not other, because only women can have PCOS, Kelsey. Um, it makes it very difficult, difficult to gain, very difficult to lose weight, but very easy to gain weight. Um, and so I had started slowly putting back on weight. Um, my highest weight as of um, July 31st of this year was 233 pounds. And once I crossed over that threshold of no longer being of at least at least 100 pounds down since my surgery, I was like, you know what? I've got to do something. Um, I was like, I am going down a very slippery slope and I need help. Um, and I... I had talked to my doctor about, Mujaro had come up, and I think Ozipic had come up too, when we were talking about weight loss options and what options were there for me, and because of my insulin resistance, what was what options I could consider. And at that point in time, um, these particular medications were new to the scene. They were still considered experimental. Um, and, and I feel like for the most part, they still are. Um, but they are more widely known and accepted. And they are used for a variety of things now. And not just for the treatment of high blood sugar and stuff like that. And I turned it down. I was like, you know, I don't want to take some experimental drug. You know, I'm good. You know, I'll just do keto. And I'll take Fentermin and I'll walk. I'll limit my calories. I'm going to lose this weight. But when did, what ended up happening was I didn't lose any weight. Um, I started doing the thing that I did before I had my surgery where I would just kind of yo-yo between two and three pounds. And that was with extreme dieting, walking, getting my protein and my water in, and I was still struggling with my weight. So fast forward to July of this year, my friend, um, I went to high school with her. She reached out, reached out to me, we're just having, you know, general conversation. And she said, Hey, I just want to let you know, I had weight loss surgery too. Um, but I ended up taking Moonjaro because I regained weight and you know she's like I've lost 65 pounds total I was on it for six months it was like the best thing ever that happened to me yada 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 and so you know I was really happy for her and that stayed in the back of my mind so I did end up speaking to my doctor about Moonjaro and my doctor was like but Let, let's go for it you know we've, we've mentioned it before we talked about this before let's let's have at it I was scared I'm not gonna lie um but my doctor also mentioned like the positive effects it can have on someone who has insulin resistance or has PCOS. Um, it would, you know, help me tremendously. So, or it could be used to treat that. So um, that is how I found out about Munjaro and that is how I was prescribed Munjaro. So on July 31st, I weighed in at 233 pounds. We had went to Six Flags. Even though I was still able to fit on the rides at Six Flags, I was still kind of uncomfortable, which let, lets me know I'm still too big. I need to lose weight. And um, I took my first dosage that day before going to the park. Oh, I'm sorry, that night before. So it was like the 30, it may have been the 30th or the 31st, but the 31st for some reason is just the, the date that I have assigned to the beginning of my journey with Mujaro. And so... I um I started, you know, doing whatever I needed to do. And I noticed a severe decrease in my appetite. Um, so that was like a, a number one thing. Like I would be so busy here that I would be like, oh my God, I have to, I, I need to go eat or I need to drink. Like one minute, let me get my water. So one thing that I immediately noticed about being on Munjaro, it put me back into the mine or the... It, it replicated when I first had my weight loss surgery. I would say the first eight months after having my surgery, that feeling of just not being hungry, not having any cravings, not having any desire to eat really anything or drink anything. That is what it put me in the mind of. I just was like, wow, like this is fantastic. So within the first month to month and a half, I had lost around... I think 15, I think around anywhere between 14 and 15 pounds. And that was fantastic to me because typically I would lose a couple of pounds and it would boom, come right back. Boom, come right back. I mean, it just, no matter what I did. So I was, I was overjoyed. Um, so when I would, you know, sit down to eat something and it wasn't that I, I couldn't eat. It's just what I ate was dramatically decreased. Um, let's say for instance, I was eating, um, a, uh, a sandwich 
um, I would eat two or three, two to three bites and I would immediately have this nauseated, nauseous, nasty feeling. And the only way that I can like describe it, and I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but I am just a living ball of anxiety. Um, when I was a kid, like if I knew I was going to get in trouble when I got home for something or if I knew I was taking home a bad report card, I would have this nauseous, like bubble gutty, butterfly feeling all day long and that is how it felt immediately after I began eating um most times and my husband kind of pointed out that it happened a lot when I ate things that I wasn't supposed to eat like a hamburger or pizza like I eat a couple bites and I was like oh mm -mm, I shouldn't have done that um so it it dramatically decreased my sugar cravings it dramatically cr decreased my cravings altogether um and it was really doing what it was supposed to do so I would Fast forward to about September. Yes, yeah, September. We went to Gatlinburg for my husband's birthday, and I put a little couple videos here as I'm talking. We went to Gatlinburg, and I noticed that my cravings for just food had started to pick up again. And I was like, this is a little odd. Um, well, let me, I guess, let me, let me add this in. I did not have any super adverse side effects to the medication. Um, I did notice that when I would inject it, Sometimes I would have a, a nauseous feeling, um, but that's why I preferred to take it in the evening time, like right before I went to bed, so that if I did have any adverse or weird, like, you know, gaggy feelings, I could I would sleep through it. But um, we were in Gatlinburg, and I just wanted to eat flipping everything. I wanted it all. And, and it wasn't that because we were out of town. I just wanted everything. Like, the cravings had definitely returned. So I spoke with my doctor on our next visit and my doctor was like, okay, that's fine. Um, let's see what we, what we're, what we can do. Um, let's, let's keep you on for a couple more weeks. We'll touch bases again. And if you're still having cravings or they are still as elevated or heightened as they are right now, we're going to move you up to the next level. So in the beginning, I was on the 2.5 or it's the 0.5 milliliter. Um, and this is my last pin in this box. Um, and it, like I said, it comes like this, um, and it tells you your dosage here. So over those next couple of weeks, my cravings, do, like I, I haven't lost, well, I ha I just wasn't, I wasn't as successful with not eating things that I wasn't supposed to eat as I was in the beginning. So I talked to my doctor and, and my doctor was like, you know what, let's go ahead and bump you up. Um, sometimes people can go their, their entire, um, their entire life with Munjaro and not have to be bumped up, but we're going to bump you up. And I would like to preface my insurance covered my medication. I pay $25 a month for this, um, but it's because of my pre-existing condition, PCOS, and I have Capital Blue Cross Blue Shield. So I just want to show you guys the difference in the pins. Not a lot of differences. Um, they used to be different colors, I think. But these, all you can see is like, this one is purple for the five and this one is um, um, gray. So I am bumped up to the five milligrams on this. So I will not start this until I finish my last 2.5 milligram pin. Um, I'll go to this one. So this will be my first, um, my first pin of, I think next month. So I'm excited um, to see how that is going to play out um so i guess a lot of questions that i've gotten gotten is do i see this being a, a long-term um solution for me I, I honestly i do and not necessarily for weight loss but more so of regulation of my insulin and also my a1c levels um it has helped number one to regulate my a1c levels when i check my a1c not my a1c my blood sugar you know, my sugar levels, you know, they're pretty good. And when I had my blood work done a couple of weeks ago, my A1C level was back at a normal or healthy range. And that was fantastic because that was one of the things that drove me to say, yes, for certain, let's go with Munjaro. Um, so, you know, if my doctor suggests me to stay on this, you know, for longer then you know, if it's, if it's a long term thing, then I have no um, adverse reactions to that. So um, my doctor did give me some tips on like, you know, what 
could possibly help, you know, to prevent me from, you know, stalling or not losing any more weight um, for me to eat at least a thousand calories a day um, to stay hydrated and to eat protein. Now, and is that not reminiscent to you guys of something that we have experienced already? It definitely is to me. Got to make sure you're drinking that water. Got to make sure you're getting your calories in because, you know, I think what's so crazy to a lot of us as weight loss surgery patients, we never had to struggle or to um, wonder if we got enough calories. We always knew we had eaten enough um, and, and if not too much. And now, you know, we just have to make sure that we're getting enough calories. So my doctor told me to, you know, for a short amount of time to start logging my calories because, you know, if I'm not getting enough calories, that's why my body is holding on to weight. So as of today, when I weighed in, when I weighed in this morning, I was 214.8. Um, and excuse me, throughout the day, I've kind of gained an ounce or two. So I'm now at 215. I think I have a clip here I'll put in. Um, so since the start of my journey, I have lost about 18 pounds if you're doing 33 minus 15. That's 18, all right? Yeah, I think. 17, 18. One of those. Still phenomenal. Um, from July 31st. So July 31st, August 31st, September 31st. So that's two months, right? So in two months, I've lost about 17, 17 18 pounds, which is around nine pounds a month, if you want to even that out. So I've also been asked, would I recommend this to someone who has had weight loss surgery? Let me preface this and say, again, I am not a weight loss doctor. I am not a professional. I did not go to school. I did not do any type of um, studying at John Hopkins, John Hopkins University. I am a YouTuber here on the platform who talks about my experiences with weight loss surgery and life thereafter. Um, if you are struggling with certain things, I think that it is definitely a conversation that you should have with your medical team, your physician, um, your surgeon, whoever, your nutritionist, to see what options are best for you. I would never tell you guys, yeah, you should go do this. Yeah, you should do this. The only thing that I feel like I, I'm definitely going to tell you guys you should do is to have weight loss surgery, you know, from my experience. Um I'm never going to tell you guys what's best for your health. I'm never going to tell you what um, it's best for you to do. I want you to do what's best for you and your situation because your health is what matters. My life is completely different than yours. We are both going, we're going to the same destination, but how we get there is totally different. Weight loss surgery may not be for you. You may be able to lose all the weight you need to on the injectables. You may be able to lose all the weight you need to by diet, exercise, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The goal, the end goal to have a healthy and happier, better, a happier, better, a happier quality of life is the end goal. So I hope that I've answered some questions for you guys. I plan on continuing to um, give you monthly Moonjaro updates. I'm thinking like um, Moonjaro monthly, da, 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 da instead of weigh-in Wednesdays. Um, just giving you guys one video a month to talk about my Moonjaro progress, my weight progress, um, because I don't want to make every video about my weight loss. I do want to talk about topics that affect weight loss surgery patients after weight loss surgery, because like I said, and this is no shade at any creator out here, a lot of times, and myself included, because I did take a break because things just got a little, they got, they got a little out of hand. They got a little out of hand, and I just, I couldn't, Find enough time in the day to devote to work, home, videos, and everything in between. It just I just didn't have enough time. So, um, and now that I'm able to find this little bit of balance, I want to start talking to you guys about life after BSG because that is what's important. And I don't think that it's talked about enough, the struggles and the successes that you have following weight loss surgery, but I think it is so important to hone in on those because... Your life doesn't stop at your surgery. Your life goes further beyond your surgery. And things will normalize again. And, you know, of course, you'll never be able to eat like you were again, most of us. But then, you know, there are times that you may be able to, you know, binge on certain things. I mean, it, it's real. It is real. It is real. It is real. What they tell you about your tolerance and your restriction 
it changes from day to day. That doesn't mean you've stretched out your pouch. It just means that your restriction is different that day. And it changes from day to day. Trust me. But that's another story for another day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you guys got some information out of it. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section down below. If I said something you don't feel is correct or that you may have a counter to, put that down below too. If you don't like the video, dislike it. Let me know. Um, I hope you guys liked the video though. And um, tonight, today is Friday the 13th. So prior to this, you know, you, I'm, I'm vlogging and I'm doing this. Um, so you guys saw me before I even sat down to make this video. I'm going out with my friend tonight to a haunted corn maze. And I am ex so excited. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that I am a big horror movie buff. I like anything scary. I love haunted houses and things like that. So we are going to Woodville, Alabama. I'm going to take you guys along with me um, and just enjoy the evening you know friend date that's what we call them but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here make up my bed and hit the road here in about an hour i love you guys to the moon and back if you have it and you would like to please take a moment to hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video whenever i do post and and just a bonus jonas if you would like to you can follow me on tiktok you can follow me on instagram you can also what was that i got a juicy mouth <laughs> Either you guys are just complete psychopaths or you just really love being here with me <laughs> because, oh my God, I am a psychopath. Um, if you have not, head on over to Facebook and join my Facebook group one bite at a time. It's a safe place to talk about hard things. I am not as present as I am as I as there as I am on other social media sites and also on YouTube. Um, I really created that group for the most part to be a support for you guys who are transitioning through the beginning stages and I'll come through and I'll answer questions most of the time or sometimes um, but I have wonderful moderators who are very knowledgeable and who have been through the surgery or who are planning to go through the surgery they are very educated and very um, supportive when it comes to weight loss surgery and helping you guys if you have questions they're there. I have, you know, a specific, there's like a messaging thing where you guys can message, you know, all, all times of night. And, you know, I may not talk a lot there, but I am always reading you guys' comments. I, to my group members who constantly, you know, thank me and support me and tell me how my videos are helping you and, and, to, the, and to you that are, may not be a part of the group, but you message me directly, you email me, you let me know that what I am doing matters and it has helped you or it has been a guidance to you. I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, from my loin, from my, the, from the very, the very innards of my soul. I thank you guys so, so, so very much. You guys always welcome me back with open arms. You guys always are there for me. You guys are always happy to see me. And truthfully, honestly, really, you guys are why I continue to make videos. And I want you to know that. And I want you to take that and hold that in your little heart and you put it in your pocket. And whenever you feel discouraged, just know you may not know the effect you are having on someone else's life by sharing or talking about yours or just being who you are. Continue to be who you are. Do what you do because you never know who is watching. I love you guys so, 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 so very much. Stay hydrated. Stay safe. Be good to each other. But most importantly, be good to your damn self. And I will see y'all when next week. Bye.